guys, to go along with the Peon 230 quadcopter frame, uh, I'll be sharing with you the power system and the FPV uh, electronics that I'll be installing into this kit. In front of us here is the base power system. Uh, we have the four brushless motors. These motors are purchased from MyRC Mart. They are the RCX or ZMR branded motors. They are 1804 2400 kV. There's two of those motors um, with standard rotation and the other two across here are, are the reverse rotation and you know, you know they're reverse because they have a the letter R next to the KV rating of the motor. The props that I'm using are the Gemfan 5, 5x3 props uh, once again purchased from my RC Mart they are dirt cheap from that website. The ESC's I'm using are 10 amp uh, 3 cell capable ESC's they are loaded with Simon K firmware. I don't have a power distribution module to solder all the power wires to. I'm, I'm taking the, uh, the light route here. I've simply soldered all the positive wires together, uh, wrapped in heat shrink, same with, all, same with all the negatives. And I've simply um, had that connecting to a microdeans plug. Once again, microdeans to save on weight. The battery that I'll be using for this setup is from Hobby King. It's a Rhino 3 cell 1550 mAh 20C battery. Um, once again, to cut down on weight, I've chopped off the super thick cables that this has come with and replaced them with some 20 gauge wire, uh, once again onto a microdeans connector. Just by making this one modification to this battery, I've been able to shave off 10 grams. Perfect. Okay, uh, over here we have um, just a homemade uh, FPV power filter. So this power filter supplies or takes the 12 volts from the battery uh, and before providing the 12 volts to the FPV transmitter and CCD camera. So this cleans the power before it's delivered to the video system. And the reason you do that is if you encounter any noise on your screen, on your um, video screen, for example, you'll see horizontal lines or so on, Chances are you've got um, dirty power from the interference generated from the ESCs and motors. So uh, just knock up one of those power filters and that should clear up your image. Uh, with regards to the 5 volt BECs that exist in all of these ESCs, uh, you don't want all four BECs connected to the same common rail, which they will be if you just plug them into your flight controller. You do want to isolate three of them. So out of these four uh, ESC servo cables, I've simply left one intact, but the other three I have removed the positive wire out of the connector and simply taped it back onto itself. Onto itself. I've done that, so if I want to use the 5 volt back in the future, I can simply untape it and pop the connector back into the socket. The flight controller that I'll be using here is the Nano Wii flight controller. Uh, once again, this is purchased from Hobby King. The receiver that I'll be using is a Spectrum satellite receiver. Uh, this is an Orange RX branded receiver from Hobby King. I'm not able to use the, uh, the mounting holes on this chassis as the Nano, Nano Wii doesn't come with any mounting holes. So all I've done here is just use some double-sided foam tape to simply secure the flight controller to the chassis which hopefully will provide some vibration dampening as well. Okay, so the last or the next thing to do is to mount this power system onto that. And here we are. Everything is now installed onto the bottom of the frame. The ESCs I have simply just taped to the arms. The actual motors, I've used uh, 6mm by M2 screws, so four um, on, on each motor. With the, uh, the big um, bunch of, of cables, of wires, I've simply just put a cable tie around them and cable tied them uh, to the chassis. Uh, and also with the uh, FPV transmitter power, uh, power filter, I've cable tied that as well um, to the chassis, um, but under there, I'm not sure if you, you'll be able to see that. I've actually got a, a Hobby King EOSD. Um, that's there purely to provide on-screen battery voltage um, in the FPV uh, video. So here is my FPV video system that I'll be using with this quadcopter kit. 
for the camera, the FPV camera, I have a 600 TV line CCD camera. This is the Runcam 600 TV line uh, from Security Camera 2000. The product number is PZ0420H. This is the camera that uh, everyone raves about and I can certainly agree with that. The contrast, the detail and the colour saturation of this camera is very good. So if you haven't bought one yet and you're umming and ahhing, um, definitely give this one a try. I bought the one with the plastic case. You can get this without a case to save a bit of weight as well. The lens that I'm using here is the 2.8mm lens. That gives me about a 90 degree field of view and with a 90 degree field of view the props are not in the shot so you will not see the props on the very edges of the image. For the video transmitter uh, I have the Fatshark 250mW 5.8GHz transmitter. This transmitter came with the Fatshark video goggle kit. Uh, I originally changed from this transmitter to one of the newer smaller ones. So this is the TS5823 5.9 gigahertz 200 milliwatt 32 channel transmitter uh, to save about 10 grams again. However, on one of the unlucky ones, this transmitter has a, a, a fair amount of noise on the screen. So there's diagonal lines that appear on the screen, um, which unfortunately degrades from the FPV experience. So I've ripped that one back out and I've gone back to the trusty Fat Shark to give a nice, nice, clean and crisp experience. Uh, the antenna, I'm not using the linear antennas that came with the Fat Shark kit. I'm just using some, um, these are blue beams from IB Crazy. Um, I've also used some cheaper Chinese um, clover leaves. They seem to work okay. I get a little bit more range out, out of these, so I'll, I'll stick with, with these blue beams. And finally, for the HD camera, just like everyone else, just the Mobius action camera. Two video modes on here, 1080p at 30 frames a second and 720p at 60 frames a second. Um, I've changed or turned off the wide dynamic range as I've found the, the contrast changes from bright to dark is just way too extreme with this. So turn that off and the image is, is much, much better. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and install this onto the quadcopter frame and let's see how it goes. And here it is, fully assembled and ready to fly. We have the battery sitting on the top of the frame and strapped in with these Velcro straps. These Velcro straps are purchased as well from MyRCMart.com. They were quite cheap, something like a dollar for a pack of five. Same with the, the Mobius camera, not only do I have um, some Velcro holding it onto the HD cam platform, but I've also used this Velcro strap to strap it to the platform as well. Uh, and also with the CCD camera, I have that um, just Velcroed to the FPV cam part there. So all in all, that was um, you know quite a, quite a simple build. Um, hopefully uh, this has been helpful for you. And um, I think I might go for a fly. Cheers.